Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today I thought I'd vlog a little bit just because I need a couple like home decor-y type things. And I love watching people go home decor shopping. So I thought I'd take you guys with me today. Um, wow, the camera is dusty because I've been filming a lot of floor renovating videos. So it's been quite, quite dusty in here, but I thought I would do my makeup, do my hair today and like get out of the house and stop. Like I've just been painting and, and sanding and, and being gross and I don't know. So there's a lot of home decor stuff I need, like not necessarily need, but like I have a lot of these guys that I don't like and I wanna get cute stuff. Like I've never just had the stuff that I've like truly, truly wanted. So I'm gonna get cute. And if I'm honest, like probably just buy a bunch of stuff I don't eat. So <laughs> let's go. We really need like a dish rack and I wanted to keep our dish rack off the counter and this is one that like goes in the sink I don't like this gray but it comes off so I feel like I might get this because that's like super handy because we have a double sink they also have just like kitchen sink mats which I think would be good too if this doesn't work look at this cute little speckled garbage can we don't need it so cute we need a dustpan so bad I wish this came in white but it doesn't but maybe I'll check like another one. This is like $6.99. That's a good deal. I never liked like the faux art, but I feel like this is super cool. 30 bucks. I really love this. I've never gotten home decor from a store like this, but it's really sick. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. clock for the house, but I find clocks can be sort of hit and miss. Okay, we are back home now. I thought I would do a little bit of a home decor haul for you guys. First thing was something really boring. I got the dish strainer. Strainer? Drainer. Drainer. Yeah. <laughs> it fits really great in the sink. It's perfect. So I'm glad I got this. It was pretty affordable too. And I just like being able to keep the dishes off the counter. And yeah, we don't have a dishwasher. So in the future, we'll get one. But there's just been so so many other things that we have to focus on and we need a new refrigerator. Something else kind of boring, but I don't know, worth noting. I just got like a cutting board. This was, I think like $14.99 and I found that like a lot of places were selling these for quite an expensive price, like $40 to $70 depending. Yeah, so this was a good deal. And then one more kind of boring thing that I just wanted to show you was the dishes that we got. I don't know if you can tell, but they have like a little dark speckle to them. I mean, these are the bowls. The plates have like a nice lip on them. Um, and they have that like stoneware feel that's like kind of matte. So we just needed plates, um, like a new dish set. So I got these ones. I thought it was really cute. I kind of want the theme to be for my dishes, white, cream, 
mustard terracotta. Um, so all of that mixed in. So I thought it would just kind of make sense to get your, your dishes traditionally like white, but I love like the little speckle detailing. The rest of the stuff, I'm not going in any particular order. I got this, I'm not a fan of the gray. Obviously you guys know I don't really love gray, but um, I thought I was just gonna paint over this little section, terracotta. I think that looked really cute. Anyways, I got this on clearance for $9. I'm gonna hang it in the hallway downstairs. We did need like a hand wash bottle. Um, and originally I was gonna go with just like the um, the amber glass jars, which I still might do, but we needed something right away. And I found this at HomeSense. Um, it's just like a bergamot, mandarin, jasmine hand soap. And I liked that it had like the little bamboo lid. And I thought, well, I mean, worst comes to worst, I could just refill this one. It smells like amazing. It smells like mandarin oranges. I did mention that we needed a lot of stuff for like the kitchen and scrubbers and things like that. So I actually have a lot of good luck at home scent. So I got this first, it's just like a regular old um, scrubber. I don't really know what to say about this stuff, but yeah, bamboo and, and cream. So on the color scheme. And then for the dishes, I got this one, bamboo, wood, all about it. Something that's so silly that I wanted for a while was something to like hold your spoon on when you're like cooking. I just have never gotten myself one. So I did get this one. Um, I thought about kind of adding copper into the mix because I know I said like mustard terracotta. I feel like copper fits in there really nice as well. So it would be okay to have a couple accents. The spoons I got, you'll see, they have like a copper accent on it, which I think like ties in nicely. So I got this one, it was uh, $7.99. But then I also saw this, it was on sale for three, three buckaroons. Uh, it's made of olive wood. Thought it was cute too. So we have both. Be nice when you're like washing the one to use the other. We needed some like scrub score pads. I saw these at Home Depot. They're actually made of walnut shell. So it looks like this. Thought it was really cool, made of walnut shells. These are by a brand called Full Circle, by the way. I got this at Valley Village the other day. It was $6. I thought it was like a really little cute tray, but then it's also a Lazy Susan. Now, this would be really cute on like a bedside table or something. You had your phone and a glass of water or something. It would also be really good for like perfumes or something on a desk. It's funny, like I had a lot of stuff uh, from my old house, but a lot of that stuff I had bought quite a long time ago and my style has obviously evolved over the last like five years so i did want to get a lot of new stuff so like i had a toilet brush but look at this toilet brush so it's on theme got the bamboo got the white we're also adding like as accents throughout the house because like all of the doorknobs and stuff are this like charcoal black so we're also adding a little bit of black into the mix so this has like a black scrubber which i think is perfect I typically think like, oh, I would usually go for like gold, but yeah, in this house, I don't know, because again, like the hardware, if you can see, let me just turn you a little bit to show you the closet door. It's like this black, like really antique kind of look, and I love that, so why not just like keep that going throughout the house, you know what I mean? Okay, so I did get it. <laughs> um, I think it's so cool. Don't you guys think it's so cool? So um, it's the sun, it's a tarot card. Um, it has obviously a nice horse, sunflowers, the sun. It's like very Tasha colors. Um, I just think it looks really cool and I think it will look really cool in our house as well. I'm actually like on the hunt for a bunch of light fixtures. So I've been mostly looking for light fixtures when I go, but today they just like have nothing. Um, how much was this? And thirty dollars, like for art in a frame, I, I don't know, great deal. I think. A couple more kitchen things. Found these serving bowls. I think they're stunning. I got two big ones and one little one. I'm just thinking, like, imagine having dinner and you're having tacos or something, and you have like um, your ground round and like your lettuce and your like tomatoes or whatever. So that's what I kind of think of when I think of all my dishes. Like, you know, everybody's got like white plates, and then. You have some mustard in there and then i love like i have already like some little wooden like um serving bowls so anyways these are gorgeous these were like only 5.99 6.99 each and yeah i just love them i obviously wish i could find more but i kind of don't because it's nice to be able to have that like fluctuation of like different colors and different bowls that all flow together <laughs> so my cherries are in this um but this is what the bowl looks like let me 
get you a zoom in on it. It's so cute. I'd love to find more like this or maybe take a pottery class and make more like this. We talked about getting new um, utensils and stuff like that. These were the utensils I was telling you have like the little copper accent like right here. And on the, the whisk, it's like right in here. So I thought that tied in the copper a little bit. So we got a little ladle. We got a little whisk. We got a like regular old mixing spoon. And then I did get these ones. These ones don't have the copper on it. These are KitchenAid. But I thought, you know, these come in handy a lot as well. And then this little spatula I actually found at Portino's. And it looks all cute. And then I have wanted a strainer that just like sits up on its own for a long time. The strainer that I have, like it's very little tiny fine ones. And I got one and it's in cream and I'm just happy that I finally have it. Uh, I think it was like $9.99. Yeah, so this is from HomeSense. Almost everything is from HomeSense. I did go to Ikea just to get a few things. I wanted new Tupperware. I've always wanted glass Tupperware. And at Ikea, they have the ones with like the bamboo lids. So I just love that. So I got a bunch of these for like storing leftovers and stuff like that. And then I love these jars. I got four of these. I don't know, I'll probably need more at some point. Um, but I'm gonna put like the things I use the most in it. So like hemp hearts, uh, chia seeds, and this is glass. If you guys remember from my desk tour video, um, I did like a DIY thing where I put like one of these under to just like hold all my makeup and stuff. And we're going to be doing a little get ready area in my closet where I will be able to store all my makeup and get ready in there. So I wanted to do that same sort of thing in there. And they sold this in a smaller size. The one I have like under my desk, I think it's like this wide and I don't really need it to be that wide. So um, I got this, which is like $10. I got a lamp and I need your honest opinions. I want everybody to write in the comments should I keep this lamp or should I return it? It's like terracotta. Looks like it's um, clay, but it's definitely not. It's definitely plastic. And it was kind of expensive. I think it was like $60 for this lamp. So that's why I like, mm. I love the lampshade and I rarely love lampshades. It's usually why I never have lamps in my house. I think it's cute, but I don't love it. And then I got, oh my God, it's so heavy. <laughs> I got this for the bedroom. Oh, okay. We're not gonna hold this for too long. Um, it was only $30, which I thought was a really good idea, or sorry, a good price. I got it to put my palm leaf in, and I just thought it was a good color for the room, like very neutral. That's all I have to say. It is just a pot. It is so heavy. Okay, my next thing and my last thing to haul is my favorite thing. So the house needs a lot. It needs mirrors. It needs light fixtures. It needs everything. And I wanted to do an arched mirror in the bathroom, and I wanted to do an arched mirror in my closet, like where I'm going to get ready. And I ended up finding an arched mirror. I was so happy. This is perfect. It's like the perfect size, has the black frame. I think the black frame would look really good in the bathroom, but I think in the, like, where I'm getting ready, I don't know if it might be gold or white might look better. I'm not sure, or if the black will just be great. But regardless, I can like spray paint it if I want to. I did show those on Instagram stories and it's like rare to find multiples at HomeSense. So I did get both and then I can return if I don't need it. I uh, have to talk to Michael about what we're gonna do with the bathroom because we do have like a built-in medicine cabinet in the bathroom, but it's like recessed. So it just looks like a mirror. So that's a bunch of the little home decor things I got. I'm very excited for you guys to see the first home renovation vlog. I have been in the midst of editing that and it's taking me a while. It was also taking a while to actually complete it all. Um, and then I have so many videos filmed and I just haven't had the time to like sit down and edit. So tomorrow and the next day, I'm just full editing days. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm sorry for the lack of content. I have been filming content. It's just that I have to sit down and edit it. So thank you guys so much. I hope you're excited. I'm so excited to do like a bedroom makeover, a living room makeover. Like <sighs> this is me in my glory. I love this stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.